Hello, now a little bit of context. Often when I uh, meet people, speak to people, it could be the very first time I've actually met them. And uh, I normally uh, only do one take. And uh, often um, I make mistakes. So any mistakes in the video, that is really uh, on me. But what I really hoped to, to have caught is a little bit of the personality of the brand and the people. And I really did want to show you um, how lovely um, uh, Geneva is, how how lovely uh, Watches and Wonders is and also portray the effort and the resources that go into the design um, of the brands and uh, the event itself never mind all the effort that goes into the design of these lovely pieces of mechanical art anyway any mistakes that is my fault and uh, and hopefully I've caught something of the people um, I've had a lovely time and I really appreciate um, having been there and I hope you like the video so, uh, je back. Now, I'm about to go in here and uh, take a look at uh, their pieces. And uh, firstly, I wanted to show you the booth, but I will uh, I'll just look out for my meeting. So I've been very lucky and I've grabbed uh, Xavier of uh, Chapec, but uh, he's kindly got a microphone on. But uh, Xavier, nice to meet you nice again. Nice to meet you. And, um, and what I, was your name? You didn't tell uh, me. Stephen. Stephen. Yes. Nice to meet you, Stephen. Uh, uh, thank you. And because I, I've, I've noticed Chepec, um, uh through uh, emails and uh, the branding advertising, and I've always thought to myself, what lovely watches. And I thought, I want to know more about them. And then I thought, I'll find out at Watches and Wonders. And so this is your wonderful stand here. And um, uh, so firstly, um, uh, Xavier, uh, tell me about Chebec at Watches and Wonders. Yes. So, I'm going to take examples just for you to understand and highlight what is important. Yeah. Today is my bow tie day. Oh. Bow tie so why day. Why do I have a bow tie day? Because one of my best friends yeah. is actually initially the yeah. agent for the US. Ah. And just for fun, we would he said, okay, we're going to have yeah. a bow tie day on uh, Watches and Wonders every year. And we also, oh. when we are in Watch Time Europe, we also have our bow tie day. And that's something behind the philosophy of Chapek. Uh, so, Don't uh, look for clients. Uh, okay, look so, for friends. Okay, so, so, so you see, it's different. Yeah. Okay, but tell me. Um, so the is people it, are very important. Yes. Uh, but that's what is it. But tell me, is the bow tie for one day? Just for one day. And so today? Uh, today is being a, a Thursday. Oh, right. <laughs> and, uh, so, uh, so, so just to understand yeah. that philosophy of saying, okay, I'm going to be with my buddy. Yeah. I don't know where he is. He's not far away. Wearing his bow tie. And that's our bow tie day. And that's a way to celebrate our friendship, in fact. Xavier, this is perfect. This is exactly what I... Uh, I need to know the important things about Chapek and, uh, and you, Xavier, and the bow tie. Yeah. Okay. And the people who are here, they've been working with yeah. us for a lot of time. You know, you see Norimichi? Yeah. I met him. I met ah. him here. Hello. Uh, yeah, hello. And, uh, hello. Norimichi is from Japan and he came to see us ah. when we were no one in ah. 2016. Wow. Very small company. Wow. We were exhibiting in a salon in, in uh, Four Seasons in Geneva. Yeah. He came here and he became our importer for Japan. And I remember very well the way we started, and it was yeah. fantastic. And now we are friends. He became a shareholder of the company later on. So, so the, you see, it, this yeah. this continuity yeah. is really behind Chapek. Uh, I, I'm, okay, this is just purely uh, uh, you know off the cuff. I, I'm a big Japanese fan. I, 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 I love the Japanese brands, uh -huh. but um, I've been chatting to the Japanese industry for, and, for, and uh, companies for years now, and I love the way the Japanese talk to me, uh, and, and I love the way that they they listen to you. They think about it very carefully for a long time. And then they might answer. I love that, and I, I and I love their respect. But also, I love their respect in design and engineering, and uh, and I've really grown to, to like the Japanese engineering. And, and I know that Japanese are very good at wristwatches. Mm -hmm. And I, I've always said to people the um, uh, the, the, the spring drive that, that Grand Seiko mm -hmm. manufactured. Yeah. Uh, from an engineering point of view, it is lovely. 
Uh, anyway, but this is the, the bow tie Chepec <laughs> <laughs> Japanese day. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so I don't know where I say, my, my, my buddy is, is around. Yeah. It's not him because Norimichi doesn't wear bow ties, but maybe <laughs> one day he will wear the bow tie on the yeah, bow tie yeah. day. Okay. So, but, but the idea was uh, to explain also that point yeah. of view. Japan is very important. Yeah. When you look at the, ca the, the place here, it's yeah. uh, Le Carré des Horlogers. Yes. In the history of watchmaking, it is clear that the Netherlands, yeah. France, and England yeah. were the first three countries. Yes. And then you had Switzerland, yes. you had Japan, yes. and you had the USA. That's right. And these are the, the six, and Germany also. Yes. These are the seven countries, I would say, that have had so much history of watchmaking. Yeah. And today, when your brand becomes important in Japan, yeah. where the, the watch collectors are so knowledgeable, yes. that means, yes. okay, you've reached a certain level. Yeah. And you have a certain recognition. Yes. They have appreciated what you're doing. Yes. You do it with a sense, you do it with a purpose, you do it in the right way. Yeah. This is, this is what uh, you look for yeah. when you launch or relaunch uh, a beautiful autologery yes. brand of uh, the independence. I, uh, because this is a <laughs> mechanical artwork. It, yes. It, 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 it's, it's artwork in its design, but it's also artwork in its engineering design. Because yes. the, the, these things are very difficult to make. Um, yeah, you have to move around so that people can see the 3D effect. Yeah. This is very important. Oh, because gosh, this yes. is made of enamel. Yes. And this is oh, wow. effectively, there is no difference of color. Yeah. It's all the same enamel. Oh, it's right. just the fact that it goes in depth, you know? The way it so, plays with the light. So where it's dark blue, yeah. it's deeper than when it's a clear blue. Yeah. And the whole idea was, from a design angle, yeah. to play with form and function. Yes. The small second yeah. is often a forgotten element of the dial. Yeah, I, I love complica complications. Yeah, but mm -hmm. here it's more from a design angle. Yeah. What do we do with a small second? Yeah. And we decided to make it the most important part of the dial. Yes. To make it the purpose of the dial. Yeah. And then we played with the idea of a drop of water falling yeah. into a lake and creating ripples. And so the small second becomes the center of the dial. And it's offset, so it's, yeah. it's disturbing somehow. And at the same time, because the waves are three-dimensional, yeah. then it becomes so attractive. One blue, yeah. different effects, three-dimensionality. Yeah. Enameling is probably 400 or 500 years old, and this has never been done in enameling. Wow. And the blue that we use yeah. is a Chapek blue. It's a reference 573 yeah. five, seven, of, three. Do, of yeah. Don Zecadron. Yeah. And it's reserved for Chapek. Oh, right. Ooh. Okay, we only... This the attention Only to Chapek can, yeah. can, can use it. Yeah. So you it, see uh, the, the way we work through this watch. Yeah, no, I, I love this. Um, and and yeah. the collection is called Promenade yeah. because it's a promenade from the Quai des Bergues, which is our initial model uh, on okay. the other side okay, that we created yeah. in, in 2015. Yeah, th this is the one I've seen before, yes. Yeah. And in, in 2016, and you see, it's very much inspired from a pocket watch. It's yeah, a pocket yeah. watch that goes on a dial, you know. Yeah, this watch yeah. has been is very scratched because it's very special. Yeah. It's been a, it's one of our earliest prototypes. Uh, it's mean, a, oh, there we it's go. a watch yes. number. And you can see now, can yeah. you see the secret sentence? Yeah. Can you read? Okay, just below the light, oh. it says, so you can read. What okay. can you read? Um, we can yeah. be we can be heroes. We can be heroes, yeah. Just, um, and uh, you know the end. Ah, okay. Oh, uh, we can we, be heroes. We can be heroes. Just for one day. Just, we can be heroes just for one day. We ah, did that. Hold on. The um, months uh, um, after. Uh, uh, which artist is that? Yeah, uh, David, David Bowie. David Bowie. Yes. So, David Bowie passed away, I think, in February. Yeah. And on March, to pay yeah. tribute to him, we decided to make a unique dial. So this is the David with this sentence. Watch. Ah, okay. So it's, it's, it's our watch. We don't sell it. You know, yeah, it's, a, yeah, yeah. it's one of our earliest prototype. 
Oh, and, uh, yes. And that's yeah. and here you can see also the the way the co ah. the company works. But, but um, I love David Bowie, uh, so and I, I've heard a lot it's about the song him. Heroes. You know that yes, was yes. that was written when when the 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 Berlin Wall was close to be destroyed. Yes. It was really yeah. an inner revolution in in. Uh, in Europe and people like me who are in their 50s they all remember the sentiment of hope yeah. that we had at that moment wow and um, I, I, you see i love that 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 information uh, and that detail of story um, uh, just like that um, i i'm because i'm doing this on the fly like this i'm hoping that my video has, has captured that um, but I'm wanting to, to really capture the way okay. that this... So now, yeah. I say promenade. Yeah. So the promenade brings you, so this is a, this is a Kedeberg. Yeah. And so here, the Place Vendôme, the Faubourg de Cracovie, that was the model we created. Yes. But then the promenade goes to the Antarctic. Okay. And why, why am I saying that yeah. with the Antarctic? Yeah. It's because the movement that the promenade is using yeah. is the same movement, it's our caliber 5, the okay. same movement as the Antarctic. Okay. Oh, very, very nice. Um, I'm so, uh, I'm going to pause one moment. Yeah, that is, uh, oh yes, look at that. Uh, this is manual, uh, no, micro rotor. Yeah, micro rotor. Uh, I, I know that building a micro rotor is, is difficult to achieve, and whenever I see a micro rotor movement, I, I'm always in awe of the engineering uh, that's gone into it because it, it's not easy. So, micro rotors, I think the oldest, most legendary micro rotor was uh, yeah. Universal Genève, yeah. about 100 years ago. Yes. It was a bi directional. Uh, micro rotor, very interesting. Why do I say bi-directional? Because, yeah. because the difficulty in the micro rotor is a winding. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. And, that's, yes. and so that I leave people to think now. Uh, yeah. When they have heard that, and it was using a pinion that was moving. It was yeah. very interesting, very simple system. Yeah. Not very efficient, but a uh, very good system. Yeah. And so that's the that's caliber 5. And when you look at the promenade, yeah. and I now have to take a promenade, uh, here are our friends from Japan. Okay. okay? And oh, here yes. you see the promenade movement. Oh, yes. And you see it's the same movement yeah. without the central bridge. Oh, I love the depth and the, um, the, the, micro, the depth of the micro rotor. Yes. Because I imagine that the, the, the weight element has to be heavy. Yeah. Because it has That's to be. That's why turn. we use planet platinum the, the, to have enough, enough yeah. energy. You, and, and because of winding power. It, yes, because the, uh, you need the mass there, yeah. and it's smaller, so you need even uh, more mass uh, to turn um, a shaft that eventually turns the, the, the power reserve, the, the spring. So you have the uh, uh, micro rotor, you have a yeah. two reverser, which yeah. are two one ways yeah. uh, that are uh, uh, combined yeah. so that it's bi directional. Yeah. Uh, and then is it both power? Uh, the mobile yeah. that goes to the uh, another mobile to finally the barrel. Yeah. And this is the way the watch is is worn by the movement of the yeah. wearer. I, I love the way the first thing that we do is we turn the watch upside down to see the movement. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I love I, I love what mechanical watches um, you know get you to do because you're instantly drawn to the engineering the, the technical aspect. This is the Antarctic uh, rattrapante. Yeah. So, it's, so you see, you have two column wheel. Yeah. One at twelve o'clock. Yeah. And one at six o'clock. The one at twelve o'clock is the yeah. one powering the the movement. Yeah. Of the chronograph. Yeah. Okay. So if I if I press. Yeah. It's, I start and stop. Xavier, um, I'll come back, but if I don't, I shall say goodbye now, and, right. uh, and I will goodbye speak to guys. you again. All okay, right. thank you very much. More to discover, do it by your own. Okay. All the best. Thank you.